my name is Jari Falsado and welcome back to my YouTube video. And for today's video, I'm going to be talking about jobs here in Australia for international students. And um, since I filmed the video, how I got my student visa here in Australia, I had people asking me questions that can um, a student work as a part time? Can a student afford to pay for their tuition fee? um whilst working here in australia and the answer to that to that is yes but it has restrictions so while your course is ongoing for example if you're in one of the semesters of your course then you are entitled to work for 20 hours a week or 40 hours a fortnight but whenever you're on your break or semestral breaks, Christmas breaks, whatever break you have, you have the opportunity to work for full time. So you have to take note of that. And you have to take note that while your course is ongoing, you can't go over your hours because that is written in your visa. That is your restrictions. Yeah. And um, before anything else, um, you have to know that um, whilst you're looking for a job here in Australia, you have to put in mind that there are a lot of international students that come here and study and look for a job. So you're not only competing with international students, you're also competing with working holiday visa people and you're also going to compete with people who are citizens here in Australia or PR and most likely the individuals that will get it are the people that are from here and you need to take note of that and you have to look very hard for a job yeah but don't be alarmed you have so many opportunities here in australia you can work definitely uh, it's, it's all about how hard you look for a job like how much time you put on looking for a job some of the people that i know they got a job three weeks of coming here two weeks at least you know and at the same time you need to take note that you always have to um, come to classes you know you have to come to classes for 80 percent of your attendance so you need to be there so you need to take note of that as well you just need to t manage your time properly you just need to be smart about your time you need to prioritize school let's move on to my list and i have listed five of the most common jobs that i think that um, a lot of students work here in australia and i've also asked a lot of international students that i know so if you guys want to know what kind of jobs so you can work here as a part-time just keep on watching the video and um take note as well that these aren't the only jobs that you can work for there are so many jobs that you can do these are just the jobs that i think are common it's not solely because this is the only job that you can work for so yeah without further ado let's start with our list and number one on my list is um the retail job so retail job you really need to have good english communication skills and if you have a good fashion sense you know you can work in a fashion boutique you know um you can work in a bookstore you can work in any retail shops that you want as long as you have good english communication skills i have never worked for retail so i can't say um i don't have any tips on how to get that job on the list is um, beverage attendants and beverage attendants are the ones that work for as a barista or like the ones that work for Starbucks or any cafes that you think that um, you can work for but you have to have a food handling certificate or like, you can do a barista course online I know a lot of international students that work for cafes and I myself tried to apply in one but I didn't get the call back you know next on the list are waiters and waitresses so um you can work in a restaurant and while i was studying my english course i had classmates most of my classmates work in a restaurant i even know someone who works as a chef and she earns a lot of money yeah as a student and um so some of them work as an all-rounder so you work as a cashier, you work as a waiter or a waitress, um, you also clean tables or something. And in this job, you don't really actually need 
good English communication skills. And as long as you have a decent English, the list is kitchen hand. So a kitchen hand is basically an assistant in a kitchen. So you help out by chopping the vegetables or like giving out like utensils to the chef or whatever they need you just assist them and you can also and you sometimes do um the dishes next the next on the list is one of the most common jobs that i know of and it is cleaning you can work for the hospital you can work for a household you can work for an office um you can work if anywhere and i also know someone who works as a cleaner in a hospital in a cinema and i know someone who works as a cleaner in a stadium imagine cleaning a stadium but here in australia as long as you you're not afraid to get your hands dirty you're not afraid to um do whatever then you can easily find a job if your course is related to child care or age care you can work in a um child care facility and you take care of kids and if you like kids then that's really good for you right i did age care and i did certificate three and certificate four and with that um when i finished my certificate three i had the opportunity to work in an age care facility where i had to take care of um elderly individuals and those in elderly individuals, some of them are independent, some of them are experiencing dementia and, um, you know, dementia, demented people, they have no um, control with their emotions and sometimes they have no control of their actions and you need to have patience with that. And if you're good with people and you don't mind um, um, the behaviors, then you can study aged care as well, like I did and um i've already finished that course and i'm moving on to i'm moving forward to nursing and hopefully fingers crossed if god allows me to um in the near future i'm going to be an australian nurse and yeah i'm looking forward to that and so guys i think that's about it with my list and if you guys are international students watching this video and you think there's something that i didn't say and you want to say to the other viewers you can comment it down below and if you think you have further recommendations or comments questions reactions or whatsoever you can also comment that down below and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please surely do click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified for my future posts about my life here in australia if you guys have reached up till the end of this video i just want to say thank you and i hope you guys have a lovely rest of the week and this is george falsetto saying bye bye and i'll see you on my next video